Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games, and this is a video that I honestly never thought that I would be making. So last year, last October, when Game Maker Studio 2.3.1 came out, uh, we gained the ability to build Game Maker games for the Raspberry Pi, among other things. And I, uh, I made a couple of videos about that, and there was a little bit of initial confusion as to whether or not this means that we can actually run Game Maker itself on a Raspberry Pi. And the answer back then was no. Unfortunately, we cannot officially run Game Maker on a Raspberry Pi. People have tried. Uh, people have tried to run Game Maker on Linux with varying degrees of success. Uh, usually, it was a bit of a ordeal involving things like wine and jumping through a lot of hoops and being somewhat unstable. Um, but now, Game Maker Studio 2.3.4 uh, beta is upon us. And we, uh, we've gained the ability to do a few things, most notably running Game Maker on Linux. Uh, specifically on Ubuntu, but it should work on most versions of Linux that aren't like completely weird. And that does, in fact, include the Raspberry Pi. So if you go to this, uh, if you go to this forum post, which I have on the screen right now, I will have it linked in the video description. Uh, you can read a bit about it. You can open up the uh, the Game Maker release notes, and you could read a bit more about the uh, the new changes in the 2.3.4 beta. And if you're if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in running this. Uh, you're probably interested in running this software on Linux, uh, if not the Raspberry Pi itself. And we're going to go ahead and do that. If you have not watched the earlier videos that I made about running Game Maker games on the Raspberry Pi, uh, that may be worth a watch. Uh, Game Maker the IDE is actually a little bit easier to get up and running, believe it or not, uh, compared to uh, compared to all the additional libraries that you needed to set up uh, to get games to work. Um, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So, if you, uh, normally when you would download an installer for Game Maker, you would log into your Yuya Games account, you would go to the downloads page, you would select the version that you're looking for. Uh, currently, because this is so early in beta, um, there is not currently a version of Game Maker available in just the downloads page in your Game Maker account. If you're watching this video more than a couple weeks in the future, once 2.3.4 has hit the, uh, the official release, there most likely will be. And that'll most likely make this next step a little bit easier. But for now, you need to uh, you need to in, uh, download the Debian package installer um, manually. Uh, you need to go to this forum post and scroll down until you see the uh, the section about running Game Maker on Ubuntu. Uh, it will have a link to the um, a Debian package. Uh, you can go and click on that, download it. Chrome is probably going to warn you about this type of file can harm your computer. I am going to keep that because I know what that file is. Uh, there's a couple different warnings, most of which boil down to the fact that this is a very, very early beta. Uh, this is not something that you're going to want to use in anything resembling a production environment. Uh, things can and will go wrong, including but not limited to the debugger just like won't work properly, um, as well as some other issues. So once the, uh, once the Debian package has been installed, uh, you can go and click on it. Actually, I am not going to click on it. Uh, not quite yet. We're going to cancel. Uh, there is one more thing we need to do before we can go and do that. If you go to the... The, uh, the required SDK page for, for Game Maker. Um, and if you scroll down to the Ubuntu IDE, uh, you will see a couple notes which I believe weren't mentioned in the forum post anywhere. Uh, you will need... And I'll have this page linked in the video description as well. Uh, you will need Mono 6 installed. To do that, you would uh, you would open up a terminal. If you're using Ubuntu 20.04 or later, uh, this should already be installed. If you're not using Ubuntu 20.04 or later, it may not be. To test what version of Mono you have installed on, on your Linux, uh, you can open up a terminal and say mono dash dash version. If if it comes up with anything, if it comes up with a version number, then uh, mono is installed. Mono basically being the Linux community's answer to Microsoft's .NET, which is uh, rather important considering that the Game Maker Studio 2 IDE is written in C Sharp. Uh, if mono is not found like it is here, because this is basically a fresh install of the Raspberry Pi OS, uh, you can say sudo apt update. That will refresh the list of the available packages available for install. Uh, this will take a minute, perhaps several minutes, because again, this is a fresh install of the Raspberry Pi. I have not done this before. 
Uh, you can go through, you can upgrade anything that needs to be upgraded. That may or may not be a good idea. Uh, you can also specifically sudo apt install mono hyphen complete. And that's going to, uh, that's going to ask you if you want to install a bunch of additional uh, packages. Uh, you want to say yes, naturally. This is going to take a few minutes. Okay, Mono has been installed. It says right here version 5.18.0.240. Uh, if you were to use the Mono version command, again, you would see that. Uh, that's fine. This is asking for Mono 6, but 5.18 is what's currently available for the Raspberry Pi, and it will work well enough. Now, if I were to go and uh, go into my downloads where I downloaded the Debian package and run it, I can automatically, I think I canceled that, I can automatically install this, this uh, package. Um, what is my, what is my password? I think I typed that in correctly. Is it going? I may have clicked on the installer twice. Anyway, that will do its thing. I can minimize the uh, the web browser, and if I go into the programming, boy, there's more stuff installed on Raspberry Pi by default than I remember. If I go into programming, we will see Game Maker Studio 2 beta, and if I click on that, this should just work automatically. We won't have to hopefully do anything else after this, and. Let's see, we have the start page, Game Maker Studio 2 Beta has opened. We have the IDE. Uh, we are doing some first time setup. I need to actually try to log in, which means I'm gonna have to actually remember my password. And there we go. Uh, the first time that you set this up, you will see Game Maker attempting to install the current runtime, um, as well as uh, anything else that it happens to need. Any additional libraries that it needs, uh, it should be able to install automatically. I think I said that already. And you shouldn't have to go through the whole song and dance of installing like Mesa and all the other things that you ha that you needed when you, uh, if you tried to earlier, uh, just build games for the Raspberry Pi. But this is gonna take a this is gonna take another minute, isn't it? Do I want to cut away or do I want to just talk through this? This is exciting. I um I honestly never really expected that I would I would be making a video on running Game Maker itself on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, particularly not officially, but here we are. Um, let's see. In much the same way that if you were running Game Maker on Windows and you wanted to uh, to build a game for, for Linux, um, you would have needed to connect to an external device. You would have needed to SSH into an external device um, and uh, and use that to, to build the game itself. Um, if you're trying to run Game Maker on Linux and you would uh, want to build a game for Windows, you would basically need to do the same thing in reverse. Currently, there is no actual tool set, set up to let you do that in Game Maker, but hopefully, uh, once this leaves its beta stages, once Game Maker leaves its beta stages, we will uh, we will have something like that. Um, hopefully, along with all the other the obvious bugs like the debugger not working and uh, some other things random crashes when you copy and paste text more than seven times. Um, hopefully that will be uh, among the earlier issues ironed out, the fact that you can't currently build a game for, uh, for Windows on Linux, um, as there is no, uh, no system for remoting into, remotely accessing a, uh, a Windows computer. Anyway, please note that these are early release builds. I've been saying that this entire video. Uh, this means that they may have bugs that could corrupt your projects. We strongly recommend that you use backup. That is the standard warning that appears anytime you go and um, run Game Maker for the first time. Uh, the first thing that you may be noticing is that this is, and I don't know why this is the default when you install Game Maker on Linux, but the screen is tiny. I am going to set the um, the DPI scale back to 100%. And uh, let's let's go ahead and click Apply. That's going to require that we restart the IDE, and uh, hopefully that should mean that the text is a little bit bigger. Again, I do not know why its default scale was like 70% or whatever. That's better. Um, I can actually read that without putting my face very close to the screen now. And the second time that you start Game Maker, things should uh, load quite a bit faster since it's already installed all of its required whatever. Uh, I am going to, did I click open or new? I clicked open. I'm going to create myself a new project. This is just going to be a quick test project. I'm going to call it Game Maker Test. 
and let's see. It's going to take a moment. We have ourselves a project. I can just I can just run the game now. Uh, if you can call it a game, we're going to be seeing an empty screen. Uh, basically, the uh, the hello world of game maker projects. Okay, that's our empty screen. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm going to make like a rectangle that follows the mouse cursor around or something like that. Let me create a sprite. Um, okay, sprite one. That's a fine name. Let me go edit the image. I'm just going to fill you in with like orange or uh, peachy, peachy orange or something like that. That's good enough. Uh, let's go create ourselves an object. Object up here. Uh, we can set our sprite to this guy, and I said I was just going to make us follow the uh, follow the cursor around the screen. Uh, let's go step event mouse x. Actually, no, it's x equals mouse x, isn't it? Y equals mouse y. If I were to go into the default default room and open the default room, game maker. There we go and drag you in and then run the game. Uh, we should have a peachy orange rectangle following the mouse cursor around. And um, is that, is the, uh, the thermometer icon in the corner of the screen appearing on the recording as well, uh, indicating that Game Maker is already like causing the pie to thermally throttle itself? Did we actually run? I don't think we actually ran. Okay, now it's running. And we have a peachy orange rectangle that is following the, uh, the mouse cursor around. That is almost something that almost resembles a game. Uh, we, have, uh, we have player input and the, the computer software is responding to it in some way, shape, or form. So, that is Game Maker on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, you may notice that this is, uh, as you can see right now, Game Maker is not performing super well. If I were to open up, where's Task Manager? Um, if I were to open up the task manager, you would most likely see, uh, this thing, um, I don't know if it would be under mono itself, it looks like it's under mono, or, uh, or Game Maker, the Game Maker, uh, program. Uh, you would see this consuming a lot of CPU. Um, YoYo Games has mentioned that the IDE is a bit of a memory hog, and indeed we're using 600 megabytes out of, uh, 4 gigabytes. Uh, mono is using itself about two-thirds of that, um... So far in the tests that I've done with Game Maker on the Raspberry Pi, uh, the, the bottleneck has been much more the CPU. Uh, the, the ARM CPU is a comparatively weak, what, four cores? Compared to what you would find on a desktop. And I have found that the, um, since I do not have any, any form of fancy cooling on this Raspberry Pi, I have found that it typically heats up pretty quick and it, uh, it starts to thermally th throttle pretty quickly. Um, Theoretically, this should work on a Raspberry Pi 3 as well, but uh, with even weaker hardware, it's probably not going to be a very good time. I have um, I have not run this on the Raspberry Pi 3. I've only done this on the Raspberry Pi 4. And I, I would definitely recommend having at least a Pi 4 with 4 gigabytes of memory, if not 8. Anyway, other things to be aware of. Uh, check, the, check the Game Maker forum for updates, or just, I suppose, uh, Game Maker itself will tell you when there's an update available. Hopefully, if you're running into any bugs, which I'm sure people inevitably will, because this is, again, very early in beta, uh, hopefully future updates will iron those out, especially the important things like... Um, when when you do run the game with a debugger, I believe the debugger itself actually works, but, like, the game doesn't, or something odd like that. Let me, uh, let me try that real quick right now. So I'm going to run this in debug mode, and we have the program window sort of appearing. We have the debugger sort of appearing. It doesn't quite look right. The buttons are a little bit misaligned, and the game itself is, uh, the game itself is, I wouldn't exactly say that it's, uh, it's successfully launched. Um, this is what, basically what's happened when I tried running the game with the debugger in, like, off recording, uh, before recording this video. Anyway, we can, we can get rid of that. Hopefully that will be ironed out soon. Again, uh, would not recommend actually doing this for something in production. Uh, if you're doing this actually on Ubuntu on an actual desktop computer on something that's actually like more powerful than forty dollars worth of computing hardware, um, it'll probably at least perform better. But the bugs may or may not still be there. So uh, so do be careful. Uh, they say that Ubuntu is the only version of Linux that's officially supported. Uh, Raspberry Pi. I guess you can technically install Ubuntu on that, but the Raspberry Pi OS that I'm using right now is not. Linux, and I would not expect, like, official support 
for uh, for getting this to run on it. Although I'm sure there are a lot of very smart people in the game maker community who would be able to uh, to offer help with uh, with any issues that may arise. And you never know. Um, if you do ask Yo-Yo Games, if you do submit a bug there for something that specifically appears on Game Maker on the Raspberry Pi, they may or may not be able to, uh, to actually help. Anyway, that's it. I think I am going to stop here. Have fun with this, certainly. If you're someone who is generally a fan of using Linux, but you and you wish Game Maker had a version of itself that worked on Linux, uh, hopefully there are bright days in the future, in your future. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I try to post about two game dev videos a week, one tutorial tutorial and one let's make a tower defense game, as well as just a whole bunch of let's plays. So if you're interested in any of that, feel free to subscribe. I, um, I particularly like making videos on the weirder things in Game Maker, such as getting it to run on Linux. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards these videos being made, look for a link to that down in the video description. You can see these videos a day early, see your name in the credits, get a preview of my future plans, that sort of thing. Otherwise, I hope you found this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Connor, David Key, Edward Holt, Emily Coyo, Halo Factory, Posho, Sindra Larson, Tusk, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or to hear yourself shouted out at the end, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.